Good day once again, grade eight. So today we are going to be looking at the identity property. We're still continuing on properties of whole numbers. Well, if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family. Right, so today let's get right into it. So we've got two identity properties of whole numbers, right? So the first one is what we call the additive identity. Uh, let me just get that right. So the additive identity. Right. Now, what is the additive identity? So if you think about the word identity, okay, so of course, these are things that look the same, right? Now, what causes things to look the same even though you've added something, right? Think about it. It's the number zero. Okay, so zero is an additive identity. What do I mean by that? Well, any number that you add zero to remains the same, right? It is an identity. So if I take 12 plus zero, what does that give us? 12. The number still remains the same. If you take any number, uh, 21 subtract zero, what does that give us? It will still give us 21. Right? If I take 90 plus 0 minus 0, that would still give us 90. So in this case, 0 is an additive. Now remember, uh, in this case, whether you add it or subtract it, you still end up with the same thing. Right? So we talked about the, uh, the additive identity. Now let's talk about the multiplicative identity. What is it that I can multiply into any number and it still remains the same? So the multiplicative identity. I'm sure you're thinking about it right now. Of course, right? So in this case, that would be 1, okay? So if I multiply any number by 1, okay? So if I take 4 multiplied by 1, what do I get? I still get 4. If I take 19 multiplied by 1, that will still give me 19, right? But please note again that it is a multiplicative identity, but it still works the same also for division, right? So I want you to please keep in mind that addition and subtraction these we call inverse operations. The same thing with multiplication and division, but we're going to treat these more a little bit later. So what I mean by that is that if I were to take any other number, uh, 35 divided by 1, what does that give me? It, that would give me 35 still, right? So it doesn't matter with, whether I multiply a number by 1 or divide it by 1, Right? I still get the very same number. So it is what we call the multiplicative identity. Now, finally, uh, before I close, right? please note in this case that there is uh, you know, something that we need to uh, give you caution about. That is division by zero. Okay, So if I divide any number by zero, Please note that division by zero gives us a number or rather is actually said to be undefined, right? So if I divide zero by any number, right? So that's an identity. So zero divided by four, what does that give me? That would give me zero, right? So if I divide zero by any number, I still get the identity, which is zero, right? However, if I were to now take four and divide that by zero, or we can write that as four divide by zero, please remember that this is said to be undefined. We're going to explain this a little bit more uh, in the future, right? We say that it is undefined. Mathematically, you cannot do this. Well, 
the last one that I want to say is zero divided by zero, right? In this case, well, zero divided by zero does not give us zero, but actually zero divided by zero is also undefined. Well, that's it when it comes to identities in this case or the identity property, right? We are going to delve a little bit more into inverse operations as we continue. For now, I'll see you guys again next time. Shop shop.